What is up guys? It is a Sunday. In fact, it is Super Bowl Sunday and I am going to take you behind the scenes of our new Bun DJ Company group photo shot and new headshots. Incredibly important as I've always told you to have updated headshots and updated group shot of your team and I practice what I preach. Unfortunately, even like you guys, it's been a few years. 2020, obviously, start of the pandemic that's usually when we did it around february or march is when we usually shoot this didn't happen 2021 we were in catch-up mode from 2020 didn't happen so today february the 13th it is happening super bowl sunday taking you behind the scenes let's go Hey, by the way, if we've never met before, welcome to the channel and thanks for being here. We're gonna have a good time today. As always, we drop new content every single Thursday for DJs just like yourself and let's go. All right, so today we are shooting at the Raleigh Union Station. I think this used to be the old train station. Maybe I'll get a little more information when I get in here, but uh, cool place, cool location. Super excited to get a new group photo of the team, get a new headshot as well with the freshly buzzed cut here. Let's go. Oh, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up? What's, going on? What's good? What's good? Richard Barlow working magic. Look at that part, man. Damn, it's cool. What's up, boys? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's good. It's good. Look at Kent Blum's no facial hair. So young. The most talented person on the entire team. There he is, folks. The only person that actually knows how to make music. Right there, guys. There he is, everybody. There he is. Every team needs one. There, there he is. The only talented person here. How are you, man? Good, man. good to see you. So we made it to the Raleigh Union Station. All the guys are here, or technically four couldn't make it. One has COVID, one missed a flight from Montana back, one is out of town, and the other one had a kid's birthday party. It is very difficult to get all of your team together when you have a huge staff like this, but we had a huge group, and I'm super excited to see what the pictures are like from my friend Richard Barlow, who is a incredible photographer here in Raleigh. I've been working with for many, many years. I think this is our first year, though, doing the uh the stuff together right it is okay first so time first doing... time doing a group shot together we've done a bunch of individual joe bun pictures together we've shot in front of the van we've shot um, uh, lifestyle photos so tell us a little bit about what we did today so we came in and then right out of the gate we knocked out the headshots we tell started... us what the theory was behind that so just because everybody wasn't here i guess right order of events we did some headshots real fast we did a three light setup yep uh, with some diffusion and some reflection with the Union Station. It's pretty long space, yep. if you can see it. You can see it. Kind of blurred beyond. That was the idea. I did some colored gels to get some cool little colors on the guys and the, on their heads. Because you had sent me like a test shot, and you and he was like, what do you think about this look for the headshots? Literally, as soon as he sent it to me, I was like, that's it. Like, yeah. let's do something totally different. So I saw some stuff just off the back of the camera. It looks incredible. So then what? We went upstairs. So we went out on the terrace here at uh, Union Station. We've yep. got the skyline behind us. Did some walking shots and some fun group photos outdoors with natural light. Yep. And then came inside and did some fun stuff sitting on the stairs here in Union yep. Station. Yep, we went boom right up on that staircase right there. And then it was a wrap. And that was it. So one almost... Was right at one hour. About an hour. Yeah. And how many guys do you think we had? Did you actually count? I didn't. I did. It was like 16, I think. Wasn't yeah. it? 13. 13 guys. So I must have 17 on the staff here in the Raleigh office because four couldn't make it. So I'm still pretty happy. I wish everybody could have been here, but it's really difficult, man. Thank you, Richard, for doing this. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having me. Hopefully, uh, when the video comes out, we'll just add in the pictures, and it goes like this. <laughs> All right guys, so that is a wrap on the Bun DJ Company photo shoot and gave you guys a little look behind the scenes. Hope you enjoyed that video. 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Brand new videos every single Thursday. Appreciate you. So again, just want to reiterate the importance of doing something like this. There's nothing really worse than a outdated headshot. It's not accurate to your brand, your clients, and they really wanna see what you look like before they hire you. So not only is it important to do this very regularly with your personal headshot, but also with your group shot, people come, people go, try and get as many people as you can to show up for it, make it mandatory. As you can see, that doesn't always work, but try and get as many people there as you possibly can. Do this regularly at least once a year. Top of every year during your slow season is a good time and um, just keep it moving. This is gonna be used in your brochures, on your website, in all of your branding, your banners at your wedding shows. So really consider this an important part of your marketing. Spend some time on it, spend some money on it if you have to, and um, just do it. Just walking back to the car here, thinking about the shoot. Pretty, uh, I don't know, amazing. Like especially when I see all the guys together like this. It gives you real perspective about the company and what you've grown and what you've built. So I highly encourage getting your people together for a photo shoot, like I said earlier. At the very least, take them to the movies, rent out a movie theater, go play putt-putt, laser tag, airsoft. Do stuff with your staff, man. It's a good time to get everybody together, even though that was only an hour or so. At least I got to see everybody, touch base with them, give a few fist bumps, and uh, just kind of reflect the year. Pretty cool. So bad.